Hey Pisces and Pisces lovers and friends. Welcome back to the Pisces portal. This is going to be a general love reading for Pisces Collective. So it might resonate, it might not. Okay, okay. Pisces, we are going to take a look at the main energy surrounding love and matters of the heart for Pisces Collective for the month of July. And then we will just take things from there, okay? See what else might happen in July. All right, what is the main message we have here? Whispers of love. Okay, wow, wow, and wow. All right, Pisces, so... The first one is have patience. Love is patient and kind always. And then we have action. Speak loudly. Express your love through actions. Pisces, I think you might find yourself patiently waiting for someone to express their love to you. Okay? And specifically by what they do. Maybe they've expressed interest. Maybe they've even expressed having feelings for you or that they actually love you. But I think you might find yourself having to be um, in, you know, a mode of patience for whatever reason. And I don't necessarily get that it's just because this person is being difficult or now they're playing games or something i feel like it might be more a matter of circumstance in a way maybe you want them to take you on a date but then they might you know have to stay later at work um stuff like that okay let's see what other energies we're going to be dealing with in why? Ooh, why not? Let's just take them. All three of these flipped on out. So, um, yeah. See what this uh, opportunity beckons. You know, I think that this person they might be really preoccupied. Okay, with work this month, and then we also have release and master so I do feel as if you know your person is going to be trying to find time okay to really prioritize you and them I don't think that it's because they're afraid or anything like that I really feel like the connection between the two of you is very open, okay, and one where things are very much so expressed between the two of you, but I feel like you're just gonna find yourself missing this person and just wanting to, you know, spend as much time with them as you possibly can, okay, especially during the summer, okay, because the summer is so romantic, so <laughs> let's see what other messages we get, Pisces, about you and this person. I do feel like when they finally, 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 you know, have the time available to um, give you that love, because this is like a release going upward, right? So I feel like, um, and it's going upward to the patience card. So I feel like when this person, you know, does have that time or they have some days off or the two of you plan a trip or a vacation together, it's like you are going to feel extremely loved and cherished by this person. Because I feel like whatever they do or whatever might happen, it's really kind of going to have, you know, 
their like sense of mobility kind of locked down. And you're gonna think, oh, they don't care, but that's not it. Not in this case, maybe in another reading, but <laughs> not in this case, okay? Yeah, oh, a spirit is in the building and it's real early too. <laughs> Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Pisces, timing, patience, here twice, okay? So it's like this person is worth waiting for, okay? Um, and, th and in this case, yes, because sometimes some cards come out and it's just like, uh, like if you want to wait, Pisces. <laughs> but in this case, Pisces, you know, I do feel like this person is worth waiting for because, again, the reason why you are finding yourself um, having to be patient is because you are dealing with somebody who is successful or who is very ambitious, um, really looking to achieve a lot in their life and for some of you maybe when you met this person things were a little slow but now you know things have built up for them and you know this person might be going on interviews trying to do networking you know doing things that will set themselves up for success but they have not forgotten about you Pisces at all okay let's see abundance you've done the work abundance flows to you now see this is what this release is about you know being patient and waiting okay not letting your mind go left and right about this person constantly questioning their loyalty to you their feelings for you when you know what the circumstances are is totally going to pay off like i mentioned earlier this person is going to send so much in your direction when it comes to when they have that time okay july is just you know it's gonna be busy for them okay um they're trying to master something whatever opportunity has come their way um, whatever job or promotion, it's like they are trying to take advantage of that. And, you know, being kind of chill about them taking advantage of that and being supportive is only going to, you know, help you in the long run, okay? Because they're going to share that with you, okay? <laughs> so, I really see it as a win-win. Um, yeah, retreat, okay? Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. So while you might be, you know, waiting for this person to um, have, you know, make time for the both of you, in the meaning in between time, Pisces, you know, enjoy spending some time alone, okay? Do some things um, that help you to recharge, Okay, and know that when this person comes back, or you know, when they're available, whatever, whatever, both of you are going to have a great time. I also think, too, that maybe the two of you might go on an actual retreat. Okay, that might be a plan or two that you both have in mind. Oh, yeah, and it says, wait, the timing is not quite right. So, Pisces... Timing messages are coming up for a third time, okay? So just be patient. I also think that some of you might really be waiting for a ring, okay? Somebody is really waiting on an engagement. And again, it's worth waiting for. You have to be patient, okay? Um, let me get actually some animal oracle messages i love this deck so much oh my god <laughs> let's see what messages do you have for pisces in this case what advice do you have for pisces oh dream the world into being OK, 
okay Pisces you know whatever it is right that you desire with this person whether you know it's being able to go on more dates with them or whether it's getting engaged okay um dream it into being they don't have to know that you're doing that okay <laughs> but you know all righty so the time that is available to you or that you know that meaning in between time until you know the door opens for more togetherness or a greater um external validation of commitment go ahead and just dream it into being like because it's gonna happen it is going to happen and then the dog spirit be loyal to what you love okay pisces so when it comes to this person um <laughs> You know, you might be tempted at times to be like, you know what? I could just get to know someone else. Like, they're too busy for me. They're this, that, and the third. Da, 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 da. But Pisces, if you love this person, be loyal to them. You never know. There might be a time in your life where you find that you may be a little too busy and preoccupied with your work or your passions, okay? And, you know, they might be in the same boat. And this could be after, you know, you and this person are in a long-term relationship or even married, okay? So, <laughs> July is really begging for your patience, Pisces, a lot, okay? And, um, and your continued loyalty. Now, if, this is, if you're still watching this and this is not the right person for you and you know it and you're trying to apply these messages to that person, I honestly don't even know what else to say. <laughs> okay? I truly don't. Yeah, earth and ground. So I think spirit really wants you to try your best to remain centered because, ooh, 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 it can be so easy in these kind of situations to really just let your mind go all over the place, assume the worst, think this person is cheating on you, they don't love you, they don't like you, and, you know, just a whole freaking mess. Um, but... Again, spend more time trying to focus your energies and center your energies to dream the world into being, okay? Dream your desires into existence, okay? And then, yep, 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 yep. Ask and receive, Pisces, okay? That's all you have to do. Ask for what it is you desire in this sense, also, if you pray, pray for this person. Pray for you. Pray for the connection, okay? Nothing wrong with a good old-fashioned prayer. Like, seriously. But ask for what you want. Like, when you find yourself being centered, sit there, visualize, envision things going the way that you want. Envision you and this person enjoying one another's company and laughing and, you know, just enjoying life, Okay? Envision this person coming out with that engagement ring, like whatever you want, okay? Ask and receive, but you have to be grounded first, okay? Okay, let's see here. today the, here again okay patience 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 it does not mean that what you want to happen is not going to happen it just means that look pisces right now it's not the right time okay but it's worth waiting for what what <laughs> okay seriously so pisces you know while you're being patient, 
that's your opportunity to get more uh, keen on how you want the relationship to be and dream it into being. And this person, maybe they're going to know you did some stuff like that, okay? Maybe they're not. It does not matter. But I think that's a great way for you to try to keep your spirits uplifted, not, you know, use your energy thinking negatively. And it also is an opportunity for you to manifest what you want more of um, with and from this person. So Pisces, uh, <laughs> this has been your reading. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.